Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to start a new tutorial video series on Docker. In this series of videos, I am going to explain what is Docker and how it works. So this video going to be a basic understanding of Docker technology and in my later videos, I am going to do some hands on and will be discussing details about Docker. So let's start. So what is Docker? A Docker is a tool designed to make it easier to create, deploy and run application using containers. Containers allow packaging your application and all its dependency together to ensure that your application works seamlessly in any environment. So why Docker? I am sure that you must also have heard of many developers saying, it works on my machine, I don't know why it won't work on yours. So, this is where Docker comes into the picture. Docker is designed to prevent this. So this usually happens because of some missing dependencies which was present in your environment but when you deploy your application to some other environment those dependencies are not there. So in that case your application fails to run on different environment. So Docker helps you to package all your dependencies along with your application and it allows you to run your application seamlessly in any environment. Docker architecture. Let's try to understand what are the components of Docker. We have Docker client, Docker host, Docker daemon, container, images and registry. Docker client is what you as an end user of Docker communicate with. For example, when you communicating with the Docker client, which then communicates your instruction to the Docker daemon. And Docker daemon is what actually executes commands sent to the Docker client, like building, running, or distributing or containers. Docker images are read-only templates that you build from a set of instructions written in your Docker file. Docker images define both what you want your packaged application and its dependency look like and what processes to run when it's launched. For containers, you can think container which wraps an application into an invisible box with everything the application needs to run. This includes operating system, application code, runtime, system tools, system libraries, and etc. Docker containers are built of Docker images. A Docker registry is a storage and distribution system for named Docker images. The registry allows Docker users to pull images locally as well as push new images to registry. So this is a basic overview of a Docker architecture. We will discuss each and every component in details in our later videos. So these are the topics I'll be covering in later videos. We will talk about Docker file, Docker images, Docker container, Docker hub, Docker swarm, Docker volume. So these are some basic topics which I'll cover in the later videos and we will also do some hands on around this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.